Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Good morning. Um, after yesterday's good news, it is a good morning, right? It's so much easier to smile when things are going well. <laughs> I was still having a bad day yesterday morning. I was like, oh, I had executive dysfunction like up to here. Like I knew I had a ton of stuff to do, but more bad stuff happened on top of that. And it was like, <sighs> so my husband yesterday, we were supposed to go to the OGs and pick up a bunch of furniture. And I, he's like, we're gonna have to take like three or four trips to get all of it. And I said to him, why don't we rent a box truck? It's $19.95 for the day. $14 for the insurance at 79 cents a mile, which will round out to about $54. And he's like, well, that's like, I know, like almost a hundred bucks, right? And he's like, well, we're gonna spend that money. And I turned and looked at him and I said, because you're talking about four trips to my dad's. One trip, back and forth is half a tank of gas. Second trip is a full tank of gas. You're doing that two more times. That's two tanks of gas in his truck that are $80 to fill, 160 plus my car, which is 42 to fill. So that's another $84. Just this gas we'd save in my car is going to cover the cost of this bloody rental truck. And then, I mean, he had to sit with it for a while. And I just kept looking at him going, why, why, why are we doing this? Like, can't we just get a truck and do it in one big load? And we would have still done it yesterday, except the rental car place in our town isn't open on Sundays. The U-Haul trailer place in our town is not open on Sundays, so... We're going to do it today. After I pick up Victoria, I'm going to go home, grab the U-Haul, head over to my dad's with my husband and my kid in tow, and then we're going to come back. Now, Victoria gets his car, so we're going to take the car back. He gave a car to my nephew when he turned 16, so he's giving Victoria the car that he's got now when she turns 16, which is three years from now, and I got to maintain this vehicle for three years because he doesn't want to take it with him okay <laughs> you know I, I got it's fine I've got to insure this car for three years now uh, anyway I'm driving it she's cracked if she thinks I ain't driving it anyway um, my husband needs me to make a deposit this morning and I have to pick up a Walgreens order that I placed but none of that opens till eight and nine. I think it's eight for Walgreens, nine for the bank. And my husband won't give me an ATM card to make the deposit because he's an old person. There, he's so old, you guys. Like for real, he's only two years older than I am, but he acts like he's a hundred. I don't trust those ATM machines. I'm like, oh, really? Okay. <laughs> that was such an old person thing to say. I could not even believe it. And I had to actually say to him, if you continue to get any older, I may have to divorce you. <laughs> he finally got him a smartphone, took his flip phone away from him. <laughs> that was like removing a pacifier from an infant. I don't like the smartphones. Now he's suddenly like, how do I, how do I do this? How do I do that? I'm like, you little old person. You're an old person. This should be technology that's familiar to you. But I wanted to get him on um, being able to take credit cards for his business because a lot of his customers are like, do you take credit cards? And he's like, nope. And I said, you should, you really should. Because it's instant payment for you, you know. And 
he just doesn't want to learn to do that. It's technology. I can't do technology. Like, oh my God, you're such an old person. Technology is our friend. Like, he's intimidated by the electronic cat box, which I love. But anywho. He won't let me use the ATM. I guess is the moral of that story. I can use it for me. I've used it multiple times. It's never a problem. But for him, he feels like it's going to gobble up his money and he'll never see it again. Okay. What is he going to do when NFTs become the thing? I don't even know. Like, I worry for him. Cash is not a thing, guys. It's not a thing. It's going away. So with gear shifts, just FYI. <laughs> That's going to blow his mind. <laughs> They're getting rid of gear shifts. Y'all know this, right? In favor of buttons that just say reverse, drive, neutral. You can just push the button on the dashboard. He's going to freak out. He just He won't be able to function. Change! I don't like change! I don't like change. But I can roll with change. This man literally is crippled by change. He can't make a decision and he can't change. So anyway. Oh my god. If I buy new furniture. Oh, I don't like change! But anywho. So since I have to kill some time, I've got stuff to drop off at Vintage Junkie. I didn't bring enough stuff to drop off at Vintage Junkie. I should have brought a lot more. But it kind of lost track of the fact that yesterday was Sunday. I don't know how. I do not know how. I legitimately don't realize. I did not realize that it was Sunday. At some point, it was like I knew it was Sunday. And then the other part of my brain was like, no. I don't know what day it is. I swear. So I only brought one thing. But there's a bunch of stuff in the back of my car. I'm sure I could rustle something up. All right, well, that's done. I need to bring a lot more. Yeah, so I looked at what sold this month. Some of it didn't make it on the Facebook page, but it's a lot. <laughs> That's a good thing. I'm not, I'm not upset about it. I just want to make sure I get enough stuff in there. Um, still another week left in this month to add to that check. So, I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, I'm going to get... Uh, I don't have furniture for them right now. Well, I do. As soon as the, I go to the OG's house... Yeah, I do. He has two cabinets that he wants to give me that are going to come up here. So, what's the cop doing? Just sitting there. Oh, huh? Weird. I was testing ya. Okay. So, he's got two cabinets that he wants to send with us that can come up here because they, they don't have a home at my home. So, I guess I'm selling those. They're really nice cabinets. Hopefully they like them. <sighs> Hopefully my husband can help me bring them in tomorrow. I know he says he wants to help me, but it's just... He really doesn't. <laughs> I'm going to go do my Walgreens pickup because they open at 8 and the bank opens at 9. You're an idiot. You assumed I wasn't going straight. She almost lost her front bumper. I had the right away. The ATM's open, Jeff. I could go to the ATM, but he's an old person and he doesn't make deposits on the ATM. Uh-uh. can make a withdrawal, but not a deposit. <laughs> anyway curbside pickup here I come this I love curbside pickup because I am terrible at um, impulse buying so this is the way I save money too is not going into the store so 
some stores have that pickup down some stores do not Walgreens do not <laughs> my options were go to the photo counter or go through the drive-thru well, I don't want to go to the photo counter I want to go through the drive-thru and sure enough they were thinking I'm picking up a prescription. I'm like, no, it's an order. Did you mark through the drive-thru? And I said, I did. And she's like, hang on. And I'm like, okay. No, it's not my fault. You didn't have the come out to my car option. They must not have enough employees right now to do the come out to your car. Or the employee doesn't want to come out to the car. But either way, I don't want to go in. That's the point of pick up. I don't want to go in. Okay, deposit's made. I gotta go home because I got an Etsy shipment to do. <laughs> it's not a big one. I think after paying the Etsy fees for the renewals, I'm gonna net like four dollars. Because I my Etsy ends up paying for itself when you make a uh, sale, but the 20 cent relisting fee after three months is brutal. I mean, I really wish they'd do away with that. I mean, I could understand a listing fee, but then to just leave it up there, I don't think they should do that. It really have an issue with that extra 20 cents every three months for each item that I list because they require you. I mean, I stop posting every day and I stop selling immediately. If I start posting every day again, the sales are going to come up again. But then that means it's 20 cents a day. So it's a, just a huge scam, I swear. And my eBay has done nothing. I mean, I was cross-posting on eBay and cross-posting on a bunch of other platforms and nothing was happening on any of those platforms except on one platform, which I'm not going to be on anymore, which is Mercari. I mean, it was like, all I got were, I gave you two bucks for it. No, I'm not, no. Well, let me know when you change your mind. Okay, I'm off this platform now. And that's just rude. That's just rudeness. So I don't wanna be, they're clearly their clientele are garage sale people. You know, like go to a garage sale and see if you can find it. Cause that's not why I'm here. So. I don't want to be dealing with rude customers and Macari, their customers were like, rude, rude. I like Etsy because I don't encounter that a lot. I do have, sometimes you'll have like once in a while, but most of the time I just get orders. I don't have anybody even contacting me. The other thing you have on Etsy are the people that are just window shopping and want to ask you tons of questions. How big is this? It's in the pictures. I put dimensions like a ruler in the pictures. And it even says in the description, look at the picture for dimensions. So you can actually see what it looks like. It's clearly, and then it's like one said mini coffee picture, right? Like personal coffee picture. Personal, which means small, right? How big is this? Well, it would probably, how many ounces will this hold? I said it would probably hold about, you know, eight to 12. I don't know. That's too small. I was looking for a picture. Okay, it's a personal picture. Personal, one cup. And I even put in the description, this would be perfect for your second, to hold your second cup of coffee when you go out to the patio in the morning, you know. So I could paint you a picture of, it's gonna hold another cup of coffee personal picture. Yeah. Sometimes customers are dumb. It's just, that's just dumb. But I'm going to go home and do the Etsy shipment. Maybe if I can figure out some pieces to put up on Etsy, I'll take some pictures today because today is kind of a clean the house and prep for hell week. I got some painting to do, but the arm isn't solid yet. So I don't want to do too much. I want to kind of rest it for a little bit more. Like, ice it a little bit. It feels good, but 
as soon as I start doing anything that's repetitive, it starts going, ow. So I want to, yeah. So anyway, I'll go home. Okay, I got the Etsy shipment in the mail. And now this is where everything gets hectic. I got to go there at three and pick up a U-Haul. First, I got to get the kid, come back, get a U-Haul. Drives my dad's. Um. <laughs> uh, load the truck. Get the kid to archery on time. And uh, my husband is going to have to take the truck home and unload it himself. It'll be okay. My anxiety went off the charts. So yesterday I had an anxiety attack from Hashimoto's just pushes them out. Well, it started again today. And I'm like trying really hard to use mindfulness. You know, they're like, use mindfulness and keep it down. I have to keep talking myself down, but then I have to do this whole three o'clock, get a car, duh, duh, run here, do this, do that. Then I'm like, my anxiety just goes poof back up again. So I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to maintain control. <laughs> I just, that's it. That's it. I'm just trying to maintain control. Oh, it'll be good though. Once we get this done, it's done. And my mother-in-law is coming tomorrow, so I was cleaning the basement, and I got that mostly clean. I got to run a vacuum around it. But I don't know what time she's coming tomorrow, so she shows up at like 10. I'll have plenty of time to... Usually she shows up at about 11 when she tells me she's going to be there at 10. She's like my husband. They have a chronic time issue. Um, yeah, so I'll have time to run a vacuum around down there, but... It's just all today is uh, I don't like this I don't like this at all <sighs> I found a few pieces of uh, a few things I want to take to vintage junkie tomorrow so maybe I'll have time to step in there before my mother in law comes I don't know she still doesn't tell me what time she's coming Somehow it works out. That's the, that's the funny part. It's like, I have no idea what I'm doing for Junk Bonanza, like the setup. Nope. I've got nothing. I just, I don't know how it's all going to come together. And somehow it does. I got my camera crew with me. So Victoria and I are thinking we need a truck this size for the business. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. The 10 foot box truck. <laughs> I've never driven a rig this big before, but we're gonna go get that furniture from the OG and we're gonna go home. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week. DIY tutorials, and of course, more junkin' videos.